Good morning, everybody. Today we're working on one of my favorite ships of all time, the USS Enterprise from the movies. So this is Captain Kirk's ship uh, in all of his feature films. Uh, today we're going to be putting the lights into the nacelles, and there's quite a bit to light on these nacelles. Um, we're going to do some blue lights behind this warp grill. It's going to sit in that nacelle. We're going to be doing some thruster lights uh, right back here. Um, there's supposed to be some lit up kind of thrusters right in here. Uh, we're also doing um, a light up on top of the nacelle and we're going to do a few points of light coming out the front and finally this grill is going to be lit um, kind of a spotlight shining back on it. So to start off the lighting you have to light block it. Uh, so what I've done here is I've airbrushed all of this silver, then I've airbrushed it black, then I've airbrushed it silver again, and then I've added in pieces of foil tape to really block the light. Um, this white plastic, the light will shine through uh, if you don't light block it, and that will actually be to our advantage in a little bit. Um, kind of going back here, we want a spotlight to kind of shine through. So on the ship where you put like the uh, the name and the registry, this is supposed to be lit up. So we're going to light that from behind. So I did not light block that part. And as we've started out, I've actually just super glued in two 12 volt LEDs. I super glued one 12 volt LED right here to light up this top light. And I, I'm sorry, I kind of taped over this already, but I've super glued an LED right here and put foil tape over it. That LED is right there, shining through that clear piece of plastic. Uh, sorry I didn't get that on video for you guys, but really simple, just, just a matter of super gluing those in place. Um, what we're going to work on first are these thrusters. The RCS thrusters um, are what they're called. These are kind of maneuvering thrusters for the ship. And it's supposed to have four points of light on it. So what I've done first is um, I've kind of put it together without the clear parts that are supposed to go in there. So I just have some open holes there. All right. In those open holes, we're going to be putting in fiber optics. So I've got four pieces of fiber optic. So I've put a little bit of a hook kind of there on the end of the fiber optic so that I can get it angled in and push it out. There we go. So there is our first strand of fiber optic kind of being pushed through. We've got four of those to fit through. Not always easy to do in these tight spots. So yeah, we're just starting off curving it a little bit. So it's a little bit of a hook. All right. And just pushing that in. So now we've pushed in our fiber optic. We've got a little bit of fiber optic coming out of all four of those little thruster holes. Now we're just going to make sure we've got a little bit of a hole in our foil tape so that we can push those through. go and now we're going to attach that fin all right now we've got four fiber optics cap pointing through there uh, what's going to come next is actually adding those thrusters uh, to an LED bulb so our first step in attaching them to an LED bulb is just to shrink wrap them into a single bundle 
and and this can be a little tricky uh, because if you get it too hot, you can melt your fiber optics. You want it just hot enough to um, shrink to heat the shrink tubing. Uh, so I'm just using a normal hair dryer. I found this hair dryer really works well to get me the right temperature. Um, but we're just going to start shrink wrapping that. I want to add a couple layers of shrink wrap to kind of get it a little bit closer to the size of the bulb because they're all going to need to be shrunk wrapped together by the end here. So now we're going to clean things up a little bit, add a little more shrink, heat shrink tubing. All right, I've, I've added about three different pieces of heat shrink tubing there. And, and the reason I'm doing that is because it's very hard to attach something with heat shrink tubing uh, that's very different in size. Um, there's not a piece of heat shrink tubing that's going to hold tightly around something that thin and something as thick as this LED. So luckily we had about four bundled to make it a little bit thicker. Um, but now that we've added a couple layers of heat shrink tubing, they're going to be held nice and tight. And this is much more the size of something that can be held by one piece of heat shrink tubing. So now I've got a heat piece of heat shrink tubing that's big enough for my LED. I'm gonna slide that in. We're gonna slide that together. Um, one, one blast with the heat gun. Um, it's gonna tie those together and that's how we're gonna light our fiber optics. Okay, so now we've heat shrink the LED, we've hooked the LED to a power source, and you can see uh, we have our four points of light coming out of those thrusters. Now you leave the fibers long like this so you can get through all of the painting, uh, and then you just cut it close um, after all the painting is done, leaving just a pinpoint of light on the surface of the ship. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Four pieces of fiber optic that will be lit and glowing kind of orange yellow. All right, the next thing to light in the ship is this grill that um, goes across it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, LED tape on the inside of the nacelle right back here. Uh, we just have cool white uh, 12 volt LED tape, same voltage as the LEDs I'm using. Um, so that I don't have to worry about power sources or change power sources. Everything's going to run off of 12 volts. And this LED tape is wonderful stuff. Um, Self-adhesive, it just tapes down. Has these little connectors for you to connect your wires. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next. I'm going to solder a couple leads onto the LED tape so I can connect it to my power source and fasten it down to the inside of this nacelle. All right, with that LED tape uh, secured in place and some leads soldered onto it, uh, the next step is prepping the grill. Um, so on the Enterprise A, the entire thing doesn't glow, only the grooves inside uh, glow. So we sprayed everything black so that light doesn't shine through. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use uh, just this little pick to kind of uh, scrape along inside those grooves uh, to kind of clear some channels where light will shine through. When I'm working on something like this, I, I use this small little LED light board uh, so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, just a little... LED strips. These, these are made so artists can um, trace things, uh, but I find it very useful in a project like this. Um, and just so I don't get it too dirty, I'm going to lay a paper towel on it. 
and lay my nacelle on it. And we're just going to start uh, carving out some of these lines. And this will take several passes to kind of clean up, and you just go slow. Um, pay attention to where the light's shining through, and uh, try and make sure you're getting both sides of that little crevice. All right, just been working on it a little bit. I switched to my number one tweezers. The point kind of fit those grooves a little bit better. And just kind of using that light board to make sure I'm doing it nice and evenly. And making sure I gain both sides of that groove, we are just scraping away uh, the black light blocking coat that we put down. And hopefully you can see that we're starting to get some real nice lines uh, that are going to be lit up in our ship. Okay, next up is a spotlight here. Now, when the model is complete, there's going to be a decal here that has the ship's name, the ship's registry, and it's lit up in the movies. And it's actually impossible the, for a light to shine out the way it does. It's, it's just movie magic. Um, so the only way to light it is to kind of light it from the inside. So right where it's supposed to be, we have not light blocked. We've left this kind of clear and open um, so that light will shine through. And we're going to put the light that lights it on the opposite wall inside it. So once again, just a small piece of LED tape is going to be secured right here to kind of light that spotlight. All right, the last kind of points of light we need on this ship are right here. Two little lights kind of light up the front of the ship here. Uh, so what I've done is I used putty to fill in the holes that came on the kit. Then I used just a pin vise uh, to kind of drill some holes the size of my fiber optic. We're also supposed to have up here one small spotlight shining through. So I'm going to use fiber optic for that. And what I've done is I've heat shrink tubed um, an LED to three strands of fiber optic. One's going to go up the back hole, and these front two are going to point out the front. All right, so it has been quite a bit of work around here today. Let's kind of go over everything that we've done. Um, we have scraped out the channel line so light shines through our grill. We've coated the back with blue and red clear paint, and we're going to be pressing that into position. We have left a clear spot here for light to shine through to light the registry and put LED tape on the other side to shine through. We have a long strip of LED tape to shine through on this grill. We have bundled fiber optic to shine through on those thrusters. We have another three pieces of fiber optic, one, two, and this long one that are uh, connected to a white LED right here to give us a few more points of light. We have an LED super glue to the top and an LED um, super glue to the side pointing out that grill. And now we're going to try and close it all up and see what it looks like. All right, we have hooked everything up. As you can see, we've got light shining through the grill. The LED on top is working. Our thrusters are lit. 
We've got a light shining on the back here. Fiber optics are looking good. And those we can start trimming up a little bit. Yeah, we can see that we'll trim that down. It'll just be a pinpointed light. That's the basic setup for our nacelle lighting.